This cheese will win our sixth title as best cheese makers in the world. Settle down, my precious. Switzerland is not very far. Paul and Paulette have looked after the children before, Gaston. I I'm sure they'll be fine on their own. But it would be my honor to help out in any way I can. Really, it's no trouble at all. That is very nice of you, Gaston. Just remember, bedtimes are not negotiable. You can count on me, Doucette. I will be in bed before ten. I believe Doucette is talking about the children, mon ami. <laughs> Don't worry, Papa. We'll look after Gaston. All aboard! Au revoir! Bye, children. Au revoir! Be good! Bye. Remember, children, I am in charge now. Just follow me. I know where I am going. Gaston! You're going in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew that. I was just testing you. <laughs> Wake up! Better check on Monsieur Duval's cheese. Locked. We'll have to find the key. Cheese Festival is important to cheese companies everywhere. It may have been stolen by spies. Let's go. That's the key. We'll have to return it later. Come on. Hit. Charlemagne, settle down. So how do we find out who is behind all this? We must set a trap for him. And for that, I'll need a disguise. <laughs> I think I have just the thing. That was delicious, Gaston. Well, cheese and crackers is an old family recipe. And now I guess it is your bedtime, no? But it's only six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I was testing you again. Six o'clock, uh, that means it's time for... Homework. Right, very good, Paul. Mm. Do we have to? Yes, you have to. And there'll be no story until you finish. Now, go on. I am going to fix the broken cellar doorknob and surprise your papa. I'm ready for a bedtime story. Have you finished your homework already? Yes. You must be the fastest mouse in the West. Would you show it to me? And I am sure that Duval's cheese will once again win first prize in this year's festival. I'm not so sure. 
I hear that the Faux Fromage Company has some cheeses that are just as delicious as Duval's. Ah, but Faux Fromage always comes in second place because they do not have a cheese taster like the Great Anatole. Ah, here is his wife now. Bonjour, Doucette. Hello, Monsieur Pomplemousse. And who, may I ask, is this lovely lady? Uh, uh, this is uh, Anatole's sister, Annette. Who's a très belle Annette? <laughs> and where is the great Anatole? Oh, uh, he is guarding the Duval cheese until we get to Switzerland. Monsieur Duval does not have the cheese with him? That was not the real Duval cheese. It is just a decoy to fool spies from other cheese companies. And where is the real Duval cheese? Oh, we cannot say. You never know who is listening. Nonsense! We are all friends here. But of course, you're right, Monsieur Pomplemousse. It's in the baggage area, between two big blue steamer trunks. Annette! Anatole told you not to tell anybody. You are certainly no good at keeping a secret. Um, well, I think I will take a nap before we get to Switzerland. If you'll excuse me, ladies. I think we have flushed out our culprit. Keep Pomplemousse busy. I will follow Roger and get to the bottom of this. Where are you going, my dear? I was hoping we might have this dance. Actually... <clears throat> Actually, I was just going to freshen up. Woohoo! Mm, you are a fine dancer, Ranette. So right on your feet. Do not worry, Annette. I will go myself. You just love to dance. I said I did not want to dance. Really, monsieur, this is no way to treat a lady. <gasps> it's me, Anatole. I'm in disguise to find out who has stolen the Duval cheese. So, that decoy cheese was just a trap? Who could have stolen it? Roger, of course, that little sneak. Wait, Anatole! Come now, let's see your homework. Very nice. The questions are all printed out very neatly. The only problem is, there are no answers. I'm always so slow at math. And I didn't want to miss the story. We're all finished our homework, Gaston. Hmm. Well... All right, everyone gets a story. And I know just the right one to tell. A long time ago, a contest was held to see who could build the finest house in the village the fastest. Mice from all over the county began building houses, hoping for the first prize. A lifetime supply of cheese. One particular mouse, who was very bright, Albert, was far ahead of everybody else. He was building the biggest house in the village. How could he be ahead, making such a big house? He took a very big shortcut. He wanted to win so badly that he didn't put any windows or doors in the house, because they take the most time to make. If it didn't have doors or windows, it's not a real house. Yes, that's cheating. That's right. And because he had no doors or windows, Albert became a prisoner in his own house. He couldn't even collect his prize. And to this day, when you walk by the house, you can still hear tap, tap, tap. The sound of Albert trying to get out of his own house. Ooh! <laughs> Thank you, Gaston. That was a good story. 
Why, thank you, Claude. Duval's cheese really is superb. Too bad it won't be in the competition. <laughs> I've got some bad news, boss. That isn't the cheese Duval is entering in the festival. What do you mean? It was in Duval's briefcase. We've been duped. The cheese is just a decoy. Anatole has the real stuff in the baggage section. What was that? Probably mice. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, boss. So, what do we do now? Well, what do you think? The faux fromage company isn't going to win the festival by playing fair and square. That's why we're helping them cheat. Which means we now have to steal the real cheese. Come on. That Anatole doesn't know who he's dealing with. Oh, dear. Should I return the cheese or warn Anatole? What do you think, Gaston? Is it time for a little snack? <gasps> what a wonderful idea, Gaston! Some brie to help me see. Cheddar to make me feel better. Ah! No, I haven't seen any other mice come in here. And you've been here the whole time? He's in a cage, Pamplemousse. Where could he go? You're a regular Sherlock Holmes. Roger should be here by now. This is where we said the real cheese was. Well, when he does get here, I will give that little rodent a piece of my mind. No, let me handle this, Pamplemousse. Someone's coming. Hide. We are on to you, Roger. We tricked you into believing we have the real cheese. <laughs> Is that not right, Anatole? Poplemus, there were many clever ways to handle this. Unfortunately, your way was not one of them. You don't have the cheese? You should be ashamed of yourself. Tell us who put you up to this. We are in the employ of the Faux Fromage Cheese Company. Into the cage, please, gentlemen. Has nobody ever heard that three's a crowd? Cheating is no way to win, Monsieur Rat. I'm not so sure about that. It appears that we, not you, are in possession of the prize-winning cheese. Do not be so sure. It's Anatole's wife, Doucette. You had the cheese until I moved it back to Monsieur Duval's briefcase where it belongs. And I am supposed to believe that? <laughs> what proof do you have? Show him the key, ma chérie. You will not be able to steal the cheese again without this. You can have it when you release my husband and Monsieur Pomplamous. You are in no position to bargain, madam. Roger and I will just have to steal the cheese a second time. But I must insist that you accompany us this time, madam. <gasps> You don't need to take her along. Why don't you take me instead? Oh, but I do so enjoy the company of a lady. When we get the cheese, I'll let her go. Au revoir. Richard, how do we open this cage? Well, you can't do it from the inside. That's why it's called a cage. Well, we'll find a way. Don't panic, Pomplemousse. Uh, uh, Maybe you should take a run on my wheel to, to blow off some steam. That's a marvelous idea. Help me pull the wheel down. L look here now. Th th this is my home. This is an emergency. My wife is in danger. Everyone get inside. 
Ready? Un, deux, trois. And who said exercise is good for your health? Let's go, Pamplemousse. What will we do, Anatole? How will we stop them? It's all right. I have a plan. Thank you, Richard. It's a jungle out there. Paul? Paul? Uh, go back to sleep, Claude. Now we will find out if you are telling the truth. Empty! You lied, madam. <gasps> Where is the cheese? <coughs> Pomplamus! In the name of the Duval Cheese Company, I am placing both of you under citizen's arrest. Ooh, I'm scared, JP. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should be. After all, I am the mayor of Montsouris. I think you'd better leave, mon ami. I believe it is you who will be leaving. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard that cheaters never prosper? Run, Poplamus! You do not have to worry about the real cheese. I hid it in a mailbag. Bravo, you said. Good work, mon ami. Ah, yes, well, uh, you too. I must let Monsieur Duval know where the cheese is. And I don't think we have to worry about Roger or Monsieur Rat. How did you ever get out of your cage, sweetums? Hmm. Imagine. Anatole hiding the cheese in the mail car for security reasons. He thinks of everything. Where do you think we're going? I don't care. Just as long as there's no Anatole. Ah, merveilleux! Anatole must have been on our train the whole time. I wonder who he is. Charlemagne, I'm trying to find Anatole. Back into the cage with you. I wonder if I will ever have the pleasure of meeting the mysterious Anatole. <sighs> I'm afraid it's no use. I cannot fix it. But this screwdriver works very nicely. Although it is... Kind of a cheat, no? Good thing you're not building an entire house. <laughs> Come on in, Poplamus, and have a cup of tea. Don't mind if I do. It's Mama and Papa. They're home. Did you have fun? What is Switzerland like? <laughs> not all at once. First of all, was everyone good? 